Welcome. Sorry, I'm a little bit late. I wanted to go outside and I had some people here leaf blowing. My name is Chris. This is a slow flow practice for you. Hope you enjoy it and enjoy the view. So let's start in an easy seated pose, whatever's comfortable for you. But if you have yoga blocks available, grab a yoga block and sit up on it. If not, you can just sit flat on the ground. But notice how the yoga block relaxes my hips. And as we begin our practice today, let's just find our breath. Close your eyes. Tune inside. And feel your breath. Slow and steady. Calm. Begin to lengthen your exhale and deepen your inhale. And allow the breath to be the first part of your vinyasa practice today. Feel the spine move as you breathe in a natural flow of opening and then sitting deep into your seat. Feel the lungs expand with the life force of prana. Begin to open your eyes if they're closed. Find an intention for your practice today. What is it that you wish to experience? Is it joy? Is it peace? Is it something as simple and concrete as strength or power? Find that in your practice by believing it in yourself. I am strong. I am peaceful. I am powerful. Whatever that is for you. Let's take a moment to press our hands together and inhaling, reach your hands up to the sky. Exhaling to your mouth, let it go. Bring your hands together. Push into your hands. Inhale, push and reach. Exhale, let it go. Once more, bring your hands together, press. Inhale, right up the spine, up to the top of your crown chakra. Exhale, let it go. Begin to do some side stretches. Just reach over one side to the other. No end to the flow, just movement. Today, we're going to do a slow flow vinyasa practice, which means we're going to move getting the body moving, the breath flowing. We may hold a few poses, but not super long. And towards the end of practice, we'll move into more deep stretch poses. From here, I want you to relax your hands down. If you're sitting up on a block or a blanket, take it out. I'm gonna add a little music. Bring our hands behind us and our legs in front. Turn your fingers towards your body. Turn your feet towards the end of the mat. Roll the shoulders back. Inhale, reverse table. Open the front body. As you exhale, bend your elbows. Drop your seat. Lift your legs. Inhale, push down. Open up the front body. Exhale, sit. Release. Lift your legs. Inhale, push down, lift up, and exhale, lift your legs. Maybe you decide to straighten your legs so you can find reverse plank, forward leg to not. Come once more into boat pose, Navasana. Let's hold boat. Find any expression. You might even want to grab your toes and do a little fun balancing pose. You can bring your feet together and do a little balancing butterfly. Release that, bring your feet down, come on to tabletop. Curl the toes, lift the head and tail. Exhale, round the spine, push back to child's pose. Pull forward, inhale, lift the head and tail. Exhale, press back to child's pose. Pull forward, lifting the head and tail. 
Put us back to child's pose. Relax your toes and rest your hips towards your heels. Stay right there in child's pose. Feel the breath, feel the back, feel the body. From here, let's bring our hands forward if they're not already. Come up into tail on the tabletop, curl the toes, lift to bear position. And wiggle your hips side to side with your knees bent. Notice how that frees the hips a little bit. Then press the heels towards the earth and stretch the spine long. Wiggle your hips here. Let's walk our feet to our hands and hang in a floppy forward fold. Bend your knees, grab your elbows. Sway side to side. Release that and roll up to standing. One more breath at a time. Find Tadasana pose, strong mountain. Feet are about hip width apart. Ground your feet. Feel the earth. Hopefully you're outside like me. And you can actually feel the unevenness of the earth. And then feel your feet ground down and support you. Lift the crown of your head up tall. And inhale. Let's reach out. Grab all this beautiful, wonderful springtime. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, reach out, sweep up, open your heart. Exhale, hands down, heart center. Inhale, invite everything in. Exhale, hands to heart. Reset your intention. What, why are you here? What do you wish to experience? Let's open our eyes, release our hands. Bring your arms back to the side. This time, swan dive all the way down. Inhale, lengthen halfway. Exhale, fold all the way. Reach out and up to the sky. Big inhale. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, reach up. Grab your wrist. Feet together. Exhale, side bend. Stay here for a few breaths, letting that side body open. Maybe roll your shoulder back a little bit. The top shoulder. The bottom shoulder rolls under. Inhale, center, switch hands, reach up, press down, over to the side. Feel that side body release and open. Inhale, center, release, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, link it halfway. Exhale, fold all the way. Reach out and rise to stand. Hands to heart center. And add a little twist, feet hip width apart. Inhale, reach up. Open twist, hips stay center, twist to the right. Inhale, reach up. Change sides, exhale, open. Inhale, reach up. You can always bend your elbows as you twist open. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, twist open. Inhale, reach up, maybe palms together, big lift. Exhale, fold forward. Let's bring our hands to the ground, step one foot back, runner's lunge, pause here, pull your heart forward, step the other foot back, downward facing dog. On your next inhale, come forward to plank. Let's lower the knees for our first one. Come all the way down. Press your legs down, lift your heart, full open heart. Exhale, lower the heart, press back to child's pose. Reach your hips back and your arms forward. Three breaths in child's pose. In your next inhale, rise to tabletop. Let's find downward facing dog. Lift the hips, drop the heel. Reach your right leg up, big stretch. You exhale, step into the top of the mat, pause. Maybe find a little balance lifting on your thigh or arms to the sky. As you exhale, bring your hands down. Step to a forward fold at the top of your mat. Lengthen halfway, pull the heart forward. Exhale, fold all the way. 
We count nice to stand big inhale. Exhale, fold all the way back to the ground. Lengthen halfway. Step the other leg back to your runner's lunge. Hands stay down. This is a great place to use your yoga blocks if you have them. On the next exhale, bring your hands to the ground. Downward facing dog. Inhale forward to plank. Maybe keep your legs up as you lower down. Plant the legs, pull the heart forward, gentle cobra. Exhale, lower your chest. Let's press back to all fours and then downward facing dog. Left leg slowly lifts up. As you exhale, find that runner's lunge. Pause here, stay down or rise up. Hands on the thigh or maybe hands to the sky. Exhale, let's bring our hands down. Step to the top of your mat, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen halfway. Exhale, fold. Reach out to rise, big breath in. Let's bring our hands to heart center and pause. Notice how you feel. A little more awake, a little more alive. We're gonna go from here to a twisting chair. Keep your feet hip width apart. And as you inhale, reach up, rise up. Exhale into a twist. We're just gonna flow. Inhale, reach up, rise up. Exhale, twist in the other direction. Inhale, reach up, rise up. Exhale, twist. Inhale, reach and rise. Gather that sunshine, exhale, twist. Inhale, reach and rise. We're gonna bring our hands behind our back as an exhale, chest expansion. Try clasping your hands and keeping your elbows bent. Pull the elbows together, roll the shoulders back and down, then lift your heart. Breathe in that sunshine. If you like, you can go inverted, bend the knees a lot, press your belly to your thighs and lower upside down. Let your shoulders come towards your ears, release those shoulders. Let your head hang heavy. Let's release that, roll up slowly one vertebrae at a time. Tadasana. I love drumming. If you can hear the music, we have some strong drums here. Let's move into our warrior mode. We're gonna start at the top of our mat. Start strong and grounded, standing balanced chair, feet hip width apart. Just take your right leg over your left. So you look like a figure four, you're still facing the end of your mat. You can stay here, you can reach your arms up. Press the knee down, even sink lower if you want more stretch. As you exhale, rise to stand, lift that knee up. You're gonna step straight back into warrior one. Feel the strength here. Inhale, reach your arms up. You exhale, hinge just halfway down. Hands to thigh, lengthen the spine. Bend the knee, inhale, push down with those strong earth feet, reach up. Exhale, halfway down. Hands to the thigh, lengthen the spine. Bend the knee, then press down to rise up. Hold your warrior strong and true, maybe palms together. Breathe into the heart. As we exhale, we're gonna come back into that intense leg stretch with the invitation to fold even deeper, maybe to your shin or to the ground or to your yoga block. Adjust your back foot so both heels are flat and fold on the inside. On your next inhale, lengthen the spine, bend the front knee, bring your hands to the ground. Come up on the back toes, sweep to one leg dog. Come forward to one leg plank, this is optional. Chaturanga with control, drop the leg. Inhale, open, upward dog. Exhale, back to downward dog. 
I'm gonna teach you a little trick. I'm gonna teach you how to jump. Bring your feet closer. Come up high on your toes, bend your knees, put weight in your hands. Jump forward and forward fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, hands to heart center and pause. We're gonna go right to the other side. Feet hip width apart. Sink deep, you're gonna switch legs. Now the other leg on top, figure four. You can stay upright. You can reach forward. You can fold even deeper. Feel that beat. Feel the strength. You are strong. Rise from here. Just pause here in a balanced pose and step straight back to your warrior. So you're going to be hip width apart. Strong legs, arms reach up. On your first Vinyasa, just go halfway down, inviting. Before you come up, bend the knee, push down into both feet, rise. On your next exhale, straighten the leg, hinge at the hips, strong spine, halfway only. Then bend the knee, push down into the feet, rise up. Once more, bring yourself forward, fold. Bend and press, rise up. Maybe you're gonna clasp hands here. We're here a little bit longer. Feel the fierceness of your warrior, strong. Find your focal point, gaze. We're gonna release this into our intense leg stretch. If you're feeling it here, pause here. Or crawl your way down to where you feel a stretch in the back of the leg. Get both feet grounded and fold any amount. Come out, slowly lengthen halfway. Bend the front foot, or front knee, excuse me. Bring your hands down. We're gonna come up on the back toe, sweep the leg to the sky. Come forward to plank, lower down. Upward dog. Exhale, add a little chaturanga. Downward facing dog. Take a cleansing breath in your nose. Exhale out your mouth. Let's reach the right leg up so we're all on the same leg. Bring your knee to your belly and then out to the side. Big circles, warm up those hips. Circle sweep, warrior two. Rise up. Release any tension in your shoulders by turning your palms up. Gaze, we're gonna stay put this time. Sometimes when we're in the fire, we can't move out of it. We just have to be in it. So feel the fire. It's a good thing. It makes us stronger. Gaze over the front fingertips. Straighten that front knee. Peaceful warrior. Bring your right arm up. Your knee is straight as you look down to your back leg. Breathe into that side body. Lift your gaze. Turn your feet towards the long edge of your mat. Your right hand is still up. Bring it behind your head. Reach your left arm back and behind your back. They don't have to touch. Your fingers don't have to touch. Cow face arms to shoulder stretch. And if you like, hinge forward halfway or all the way down. Keep squeezing your shoulder blades together. Open heart. Press into your feet, reach up, rise. Release the arms. <sighs> Roll your shoulders around. We're gonna turn to the back side of your mat. We're making a circle. Crescent lunge facing the back edge of our mat. Our first lunge twist. Exhale, we've off side angle. Right hand down, left arm up. Breathe, maybe roll your shoulder, your arm in a big circle. From here, step back to plank. Let's 
twist to side plank, right hand, right foot. Maybe you lift that top leg, maybe you don't. You can put your foot in front or behind, or you can reach it up. Release that fine plank pose. Yogi's choice, stay here or shift lower. Inhale, open up. Exhale, press back. Downward dog. Reach that right leg, this is the same leg, up. Bring it to cheetah pose, knee under your belly. Inhale, lift it up. Bring it to the opposite elbow, revolve cheetah. Inhale, bring it up. Let's step it to warrior two, just for a breath. Because we're gonna lower down, side angle. Forearm on the thigh or hand to the floor or block. Reach over your ear, breathe. Feel the fire right here. Reach up and rise. Windmill all the way to the front of your mat. You've made a circle. We're going to find a balanced pose. Warrior three. You can bring your hands down or fly. I have an air conditioner here, so it's real easy for me to balance. From your balance pose, bring your hands down if they're up. Step back, downward facing dog. Take a cleansing breath. <sighs> Left side, other side. Leg comes up. Make some big circles. One leg dog, knee circles. Tell that hip where you're going. Stretch the leg up. Step into warrior two, you're gonna be facing the opposite direction. We're gonna hold our warrior strong, grounded, centered. Maybe you relax your shoulders and turn your palms up. Peaceful warrior, straighten that leg and lift the arm, maybe gaze back, balance your leg. Lift your head, turn your toes to face the long head. Left hand is up, bring it behind your back. Right hand behind it. Open your heart, stay here. Or fold forward, peekaboo. Let the head go, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Feel the openness in your heart. Press into the feet to rise to stand. Release the arms. Turn to the other side, finishing our mandala. Crescent lunge. We're gonna add our twist. Exhale, revolve side angle. Or twisting lunge. Maybe make big circles over your ear. Bring your hand down. Step back. To the downward facing dog. Take a cleansing breath in the nose, out the mouth. Left leg, same left leg you started with. Exhale, cheetah pose. Inhale, lift it up. Come across, revolve cheetah pose. Inhale, lift it up. You exhale, step into warrior two. Remember, just for a breath. And then find your way to side angle, a little lower with the hips. Hand on a block or the earth. Open, roll your shoulder back. And smile. Enjoy your practice. Slowly bring the arm down. We're gonna step to plank pose. Straight back, left side plank, left side. Remember options forward, behind. Stacked, tree, do what the best fits your body today. Back to plank, stay here or vinyasa. Open up, press back. Let's drop 
to our knees. Curl your toes. Walk your hands back. Toe stretch. Lift up onto your feet. See if you can open up the feet. Hands clasp. Pull your shoulders back. Chest expansion. Breathe into the heart. Just relax that. Hands to heart center. Great warrior play, you guys. Let's do some heart opening. We're going to come to our bellies. Remember when you're on your belly, you're strengthening the back body, opening the front. Start with the legs staying down. Palms pressing down. Locust pose, just the upper body. Gaze down, lift the heart. Press your legs strongly, maybe even feet together. Breathe. Then release your ear to the ground, relax. Feel the earth support you. Second repetition. Now we're going to keep the upper body down, lift the lower body. Palms under your thighs, lift the legs. Excuse me. Head stays down. Release, let the ear go to the other side. Maybe make a pillow for your head. It's going to be both upper and lower body. I want you to fly like Superman. <laughs> Maybe you can reach arms overhead to strengthen even more. And as you breathe, flow with the breath. Either float on the breath or lower and lift. You decide what's best for you. hands under our shoulders, push up and back, downward facing dog. We still need to do our warrior three on the right side. Don't worry, I didn't forget, really. <laughs> Step your right foot forward. You can be supported or flying, you choose. Supported, fingers on the ground or block. Flying, reach up. From here, just stand up to Dasana. Well done. Hands to heart. Feel your body. Feel the joy. Breathe. Repeat your mantra. our hands by our side. We're going to turn our feet out on a squat. Toes out. Five point star. Think big and broad. Open. Exhale. Squat. Inhale. Big and broad. Exhale. Squat. Inhale. Big and broad. Exhale. Squat. Once more. Big and broad. On that goddess pose. Horse stance. Maybe lift your heels up. Be a little fire, breath of fire, fast exhales. Pump the belly. I hear some more drums, that's trouble. Drop the heels, rise up. Exhale, fold, let it go. This time, legs straight, grab your big toes or your ankles. Full belly to thigh. Bend your elbows, pull your shoulder blades down your back. Inhale, rise. Bring your hands to the floor. Turn those toes out. 
Side lunge flow. You can start with your hands grounded. You can reach it out. Feel it. This is where you gain your power. Maybe you keep your arms out. How strong are you? Very strong. Let's all go to one side, hold the pose. You can stay upright, you can go lower, you can drop your hip towards your heel. Grab your ankle if you can, pull the knee out. Make sure you can wiggle your toes, there's not too much pressure in your knee. If you're comfortable here, lift up and hold so you work your strength. Let's switch sides. Low. Low as your knees allow. Train your body in these ranges to be strong, resilient. Instead of flopping into the, uh, into the flexibility, hold the power. Rise up. Tail wagger pose. Toes towards me. Drop your hips. Your back should look like a tabletop. Take your hands on the inside of your thighs. Push in with your legs and out with your arms. Tailbone and head in line with the spine. Building up some fire. Forward fold, shift, release. You'll tie your feet together and roll up into standing one vertebra at a time. Back to Tadasana. Let's widen our feet. Trikonasana, work those deep rotators by turning your feet to one edge of the mat. One foot faces the long edge, other the short edge. Get big and broad, hands towards your shin or the floor. Feel the freedom in triangle. Try not to hang out here. We're going to float to half moon. Grab your block if it's there. Float up. Any variation, you can do a little cartwheel. You can grab your leg. Feel the openness in the hips. The heart. Release from wherever you are. Come back into warrior two. Other side, simply turn the feet the other direction. Get big and broad, open. Hands right here at the hip to your trikonasana. This is a beautiful pose of openness. Try not to be closed down. Come wherever you need to be to be open. From here, we're going to float in the half moon. You can stay right here or find your half moon pose. Any variation, a little cartwheel effect, or you may grab your ankle. Release, let go, warrior two. Heel toe your feet. <laughs> Find the squat. If your knees allow, drop your hips below your knees. I'm on a little downhill, so if I topple backwards, that's why. Woo! <laughs> Reach your arms up, strengthen your back. Bring your hands down. We're going to do a little ab work. We've got some drums helping us. So what we're going to do find a canoe flow, canoe to boat. I want you to take a little, do a little uh, experiment. See whether you're feeling stronger in boat or canoe. So a boat would be hips flexed like a V. Lift your legs any amount. Canoe, you're more rounded, lower body. You can grab your shoulders. You can always just do one leg. Inhale to boat. Exhale, canoe, now you flow. Inhale, boat. Exhale, canoe. Inhale, boat. Exhale, canoe. Which one are you loving? Usually the 
the one that you don't like. It's the one you need to do more of. So find the one that's harder. Hold it for five, four, three, two, one. Let go. Woo. Rest. No shame in resting. chest. Rock and roll. Baby so much that you sit up and you're ready. Whoa, my cat just jumped over. <laughs> Good job, my dog. We're going to do a little crow pose. Hands down, shoulder width apart. Feet together, knees apart, just like you did for the squat. Lift your bum high, bring your knees to your upper arms. Look forward and see if you can balance. Not, no worries, just put weight into your hand. When you're ready to come up, gorilla pose, stretch those uh, wrists. Bend your knees so your hands can fit under your feet and wiggle your toes. Shake that head. Release any binds you have, roll up. One bird at a time. <sighs> How are we feeling? Since we're 40 minutes in, we're going to do one more vinyasa and then we'll come more into our deeper stretches. Start at the back of your mat. You're going to find dancer to revolved standing twist. Right foot steps forward. Grab your ankle. Float in the dancer any amount. back. Maybe you grab your foot, maybe you don't. Release to Dasana. Well done. Walk back. Same sequence, other side. Left leg, not in Dasana. Standing spinal twist. If you grab your foot, maybe you don't. Release, let go. Beautiful. Let's get this into the mat. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, fold forward. Walk out like a bear. Right leg up, bend the knee. This is called scorpion dog. Lift your head, touch your head with your foot. Oh, Bada vinyasa, come forward, lower down. Release the leg, rise up. Exhale, back. Right leg, same leg. Come into that cross cheetah. If you want, revolve. Side plank on the inside of that extended leg. Reach your leg out. Don't touch the ground. Don't touch the ground. Reach up, rise up. Leg to the sky. Beautiful work. Exhale, down dog. Left side. Lift the left leg. Scorpion dog. Lift your head. Touch your head with your toes. A little vinyasa plank. Lower down. Release, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Left leg reaches up. Revolve, side plank. Maybe just stop with the cheetah, that's good for you. Or you keep that leg up, y'all. Keep it up, keep it up. I know you can. Release it back, downward facing dog. Leg to the sky. Lower down. That's my cue to start taking it down. Left leg comes forward. Low lunge. I'm all about the music. We're going to open up that thigh in the back, in the front, excuse me. So first 
start tall. Press your shin down. Lift your heart. Reach the same arm up as the leg is down. Feel that long stretch. Let's take this into prayer twist. You bring your arm across the thigh. You can always lift your back leg. Turn your body to the front of your mat. Either sink down into half malasana or sit down into half rikshasana or frikshasana. You can stay here or you can lift your knee. Revolve head to knee. Hold on on to the ankle or holding on to the leg or the thigh. It's a side open and press this side down. Just roll your shoulder open. Maybe you can grab those toes, but don't sacrifice alignment for grabbing something. Then simply turn your nose to your knee, reach across the leg. Keep pressing this opposite hip, the hip where the knee is bent. Press that one down. Simply rise up. We're gonna stay seated. Have a seated twist first, so your knee is lifted and one is down. Inhale and then twist as you exhale. As you untwist, we're gonna find a hip opener. This stretches the outer hips, the glutes. First option would be cow face. Knees are stacked, feet are out. If when you're doing this, your knee is still upright, just switch it to figure four stretch. It's gonna be more accessible to you or sit up on a block. Whatever you've chosen, fold forward. Breathe into the low back. Feel that release, whole back body, not just your hips, but your entire back body. Just slowly rise up. We're 
We're simply going to switch sides. So now the other knee is up. Make sure both sit bones are down. Inhale and exhale. Beautiful nutrition for the spine as we turn to the side. Deep breath, massaging our internal organs with our breath. Let's unwind our twist, finding your hip opener. See what happens when you stack your knees, remembering if your knee is up here. It's just a signal that you need to adapt for your hip joint. It's nothing against you, it's just your hip joint might be a little different than your neighbors. And then fold forward whatever you've chosen. <coughs> Excuse me. The second one, if you'd like, you can do a one-legged bridge for a little more strengthening. So you lift your hips up, bring one leg to the sky, push down with the foot that's on the floor, get strong. Pull your heel towards your butt cheek if you can. Release that and simply switch sides. Other option is just to keep both feet down. Release that, lower one vertebra at a time. Maybe do a little butterfly pose. Arms up, surrender. for your bridge. You can do the regular bridge we started with. 
You can also do what we just did. If you feel openness in your front body, you could go into wheel pose or even a supported bridge. So do what's best for you. I'm gonna do supported bridge. Block under my hips. Just let any opening that's supposed to happen, happen. Breathe into that. If you're in wheel, your fingertips are towards your shoulders. You're pushing into your feet and you're rising up. I'm not gonna do it today. If you're in wheel, come down and whenever you need to. From our bridge, wherever you are, slowly come down. Constructive rest. Just let your hips settle. Bring our knees in for a spinal twist. Arms out wide, just bring your knees to the side of your body, any spinal twist you enjoy. Maybe you wrap your legs or put one on top. Keep your shoulders grounded. Start to change sides. Any variation you enjoy, knees together is usually more easeful on the back. Knees apart, a little traction. Turn your gaze away from your arm. center inversion time you can do happy baby you could do the supported bridge or my favorite is supported legs up in the air block under your hips legs up no effort Continue to feel your inversion. Notice the life force within you. Strong, true, despite the external circumstances, we are strong. We are resilient. We are peaceful. We are open. You can stay in your inversion as long as you'd like. Or you can begin to come down. If you've chosen a headstand, come into child's pose. Or if you're a shoulder stand, maybe go through plow. Once you're finding Shavasana, find a comfortable spot. Close your eyes. Let's take five minutes for relaxation. Let the music take you away.
slowly start to come back to awareness of your physical body. You can stretch or wiggle or move any way that feels natural. Bring your knees into your chest. Roll to your side and slowly sit up. Once you're seated upright, just take a few moments in Sukhasana to notice the effects of our practice today. Notice how you're feeling. and have gratitude for your health and well-being at this moment. Let's bring our hands to heart center. The light of me honors the light within each of you. Thank you so much for joining me. Let's end our practice with the sound of Aum. Take a deep breath in. Namaste.